Welcome to the Gliding Federation of Australia's daily inspection video series. In this video, we walk through the inspection of the fuselage. Typically, the fuselage inspection is in two parts. The forward inspection in front of the wings, and the inspection behind the wings. But for this video, they will be combined together. In another video in this series, we inspected the cockpit portion of the forward fuselage. Now it is time to turn our attention to the outside of the cockpit. Firstly, check the skin condition for any signs of damage. Damage can occur in a variety of ways. Wheels up landing, a hard nose first landing in a glider with a nose wheel or skid, or even extra hard braking, pitching the nose forward. Check not only directly under the nose, but also along the side of the fuselage, particularly around the mount points for the seat belts. Fine cracks here in the gel coat or paint should be investigated by somebody with advanced qualifications. In fabric or metal covered gliders, distortion in the surface can often reflect damage in the underlying structure. For gliders with a nose wheel or skid, check their condition. Tyres should be correctly inflated and there should be no damage to the skid or the fabric protection around it, which is particularly important for winch launched aircraft. Next check the static ports. Most aircraft have two or four in the front and often you can find another set in the rear fuselage or under the wings. They should be clear of water from your washing. They are a favourite place for ants as well, particularly when you have the gliders parked outside, such as at a camp. Moving to the rear of the aircraft, we check the boom for damage. If they're static ports here, and or a total energy probe, inspect them and make sure that there are no blockages. Feel or look along the bottom for any obvious damage from large rocks or damage from a heavy landing. At the base of the fin, there's many things to inspect. Most often, signs of a heavy landing can be seen here, with cracks or crazing visible. But be careful not to confuse those with the scratches from the tail dolly, often found on club gliders. Signs of additional damage can be spotted by lightly leaning on the top of the fin and looking for bowing in the skin. Moving up the fin, next inspect the tailplane. Identify how it is secured to the aircraft and ensure that it is correctly rigged and on securely. Check for cracks and damage on both the bottom and top surfaces. Moving out to the tip, light pressure both fore and aft and up and down will confirm whether the attachment is secure. Many aircraft, particularly older types, have some play here so don't be concerned with the small amounts of rattles. Like the ailerons, check the hinges for play and that the gap seals, where fitted, are intact and not lifting. Don't forget to check that the elevator connection is safe too by checking the coupling and testing for play while a helper holds the control column in the cockpit. While you have a helper in the cockpit, test the rudder is firmly connected by having them hold the rudder pedals while you press against the rudder. Check that the rudder cables are securely fastened to the aircraft and that there's been no damage to the rudder. The bottom is particularly prone to damage from bad landings and the trailing edge from items falling on it. Check that the tail wheel is correctly inflated or the tail skid is firmly attached. Many aircraft can fit tail ballast of both fixed and water types, sometimes both. Make sure fixed ballast is securely fitted and there's no damage to the fitting. Water ballast should be checked for leaks if you have it filled. Some aircraft will have spin kits or handles that can be fitted. Check the mounting points to ensure that they are secure. Finally, check the TE probe is secure and hasn't collected bugs. If you haven't already checked the Vario for correct functionality, now would be a good time to do so. Now that the fuselage inspection is complete, you can move to the other areas of the aircraft. In the other videos in this series, we walk through the cockpit and wing inspections.